Juan and Suzanne, tonight this is still an active investigation after an officer involved shooting. Let me step aside and show it to you. This is happening near the corner of Culver and Mentone. And police say this all started after a man attacked a family member with a knife. Tonight, investigators bagged up evidence following an officer involved shooting. It happened on the 4100 block of Mentone Avenue, just steps from Mark Brilliard's Culver City home. We heard uh, somebody yell something, and then we heard about eight or nine shots. And uh, after about a minute or so, uh, we came out and peeked around the back end of the building, and we saw a man laying in the street. Police say they were called here after they got a report that a 27 year old woman had been attacked with a knife by her 30 year old brother at an apartment nearby. Alicia Galindo says the woman ran to one of her neighbors for help. This woman came yeah, running yeah. saying, Help me, help me, my brother's trying to kill me. Investigators say two Culver City police officers found the brother about two blocks from the apartment where the attack happened. They say the officers opened fire when the man lunged at them with a knife which has been recovered. It appeared to be some type of uh, kitchen uh, cleaver type knife. The sheriff's department says the sister suffered cuts to her face and body in the knife attack. And she had a towel over her face and on her arms, but there was quite a bit of blood. The Culver City Police Department has asked the LA County Sheriff's Department to look into the officer involved shooting for transparency and to avoid a conflict of interest when it comes to the use of force. The Sheriff's Department says the officers were wearing body cameras. We've been living here for 20 years and nothing like this has ever happened. And police say that the man was pronounced dead after he was taken to a hospital. His sister underwent surgery earlier today. She is expected to survive. Reporting live in Culver City, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.